Today on Cooking with a Lion, we're making a vibrant, fun, and flavorful dish starring one of my all-time favorite condiments. And it's all happening right now. Let's get started. This dish came about because I wanted some pineapple fried rice. I had the pineapple, so I'm good in that department, but I didn't have any day-old rice, is what you need actually classically for fried rice. But what I did have was a bag of cauliflower rice in my freezer and a bunch of wonderful vegetables, and it turned out beautifully. And that's what we're making today. So the first step for this dish is to grab a large non-stick saute pan, place it over medium high heat and add one tablespoon of oil, heating it until it's shimmering. Once the oil is shimmering, we're gonna add these whisked eggs. Let them set for a little bit. I like that lovely texture, sort of a lacy texture around the edges. That takes about 30 seconds, but then grab your spatula and run it through a couple times. You wanna make sure it's cooked through, but not rubbery. Once they're cooked through, transfer them to a plate. Put the saute pan back on the heat. We're gonna add more oil and a little bit more flavor with some toasted sesame oil as well because this is the bed for your aromatics. We're talking about ginger and garlic. Now your kitchen should be smelling like heaven. In about 30 seconds to a minute, then you're gonna add your bag of frozen cauliflower rice. Now, you wanna let it cook, stirring occasionally until it's not colored, but definitely cooked through or thawed, let's say, because at that point, you're gonna add the rest of your vegetables. This is where some vibrancy, this incredible color comes into play. We've got red bell pepper, you've got your frozen peas, you have carrots thinly sliced, scallions, and of course, the pineapple. But you wanna season it at this point too. Season it with a little bit of kosher salt and a touch of sugar as well. We're gonna increase the heat to high because we want it to steam off and get a little bit of color. And this will take about eight to 10 minutes of cooking. At this point, pull it off the heat. Don't let it cook anymore. You wanna add a little bit more flavor to the whole thing. We're talking about soy sauce. We're talking about lime juice. And then those eggs, of course, add those to warm them back through. Last but not least, the all-star condiment chili crisp. Now I'm a white guy from Virginia and I can't handle really hot stuff. It's not hot, but it has this wonderful complexity, this wonderful spice, this, this haunting warmth and texture that's just absolutely beautiful. Stir all those ingredients together, then it's time to serve. Now this looks amazing. Now there's just a couple things left to finish this dish. A little bit of crunch is always nice. I like toasted salted cashews. Peanuts work as well, or sesame seeds, that works. That goes on top. And a little bit of fresh herbaceousness, and that's where cilantro comes into play. I mean, that's pretty great. It's pretty great. Two ingredients from the freezer section. Fast, delicious, hot, so be careful. Let's give it a shot. The first thing that my palate just explodes on is that fresh pineapple. It has this wonderful sweet and acidity thing going on. It's pineapple, I love it. But of course, the body of it is the cauliflower rice. It's soft like rice would be. And it's, and it's got a wonderful bed that kind of holds all the other flavors and textures together. Of course, all those vegetables, I'm a vegetable guy. Carrots, I love. Peas, I totally love. And you also have the colors, which makes me smile. I don't know about you, but it really makes me smile when I see so much color on one dish. Then you have that crunch, which is the uh, roasted salted uh, cashews, which brings a nice butteriness to this. That's new. And then the sesame oil, which is like, what is that? And it's just so nutty and heady and lovely. Ginger, garlic. It's a fair amount that's in there, but it's been cooking for a long period of time, so it's very tame and mellow. If you like garlic, not pungent, you're gonna love this because it ends up being more sweet, which is a nice body, almost a foil for the rest of these flavors and textures. But it's that all-star condiment, that chili crisp, that really makes this dish shine. Like I said, I'm not really into super spicy foods, but for me, I don't find it spicy at all. I like that crunchy, that crispy texture that it has on offer, and it's a very mellow, it's like heat whispering in your ear. It's nothing like a to the nose, which makes me think that your family would enjoy this too. It comes together fast. It's one saute pan, two ingredients from the freezer, and it's on your table in no time. Give it a shot when you do, 
post the photos on social media and let me see what you have going on in your kitchen because I would love to know. Cheers.